And we are live. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I was about to start singing that to the um, You Are My Sunshine song. And we are live now. <laughs> this show is live <laughs> now. <laughs> we'll make you happy <laughs> when skies are gray. All right, that's it. I'm not singing anymore. I'll sing in my own head, but I am and in my car but not publicly for many other people. <laughs> it's all right. I think that, uh, I think that Xay is literally the only person here for this brief start. So it's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're okay. You've only, you've only been seen by one other person. So that's all right. Because you've seen me sing plenty because I'm forever freaking doing it. Um, Not actually. Cause I mean, I, I haven't been to her. I've only been to one karaoke with you and I snuck off early. True, so, but yeah, yeah but, I, but I sing like in general. Yeah, which I think is I need to, a weird trait I get from my family. I need to figure out a way of doing that. Like, I I can sing like Dave Kaus from Our House, which are an amazing <laughs> band. You should totally check them out. But everyone would go like, people used to say to me, "How can you listen to that? He's singing off key." And I was like, "Yeah, but that's what I like about it." Yeah, I mean, he also does the the whole you know speak singing thing very well. Yeah, like that's... incredible. Like, and anybody listens to like um, Endless Art. Oh man, they'll get it. That's a great record. And I want too much. Another great record. Yes. Oh many, man, I'm gonna have to go and listen to our house after we. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> many many fine late Sunday evenings listening to Across the Line on Radio Five when it was a music station. It would, be me, it would be me like getting out of my family house with my highly identifiable like secondhand overcoat that I bought in Eager Beaver in Temple Bar with my <laughs> headphones on, slightly moody. Orange around. headphones, I hope. Did I have orange? No. No, they were like black Sony okay. like Walkman type stuff. I'm down with that. Yeah. I'm here for it. That sounds good. So, how are you doing? I know you're saying you're in pain, but struggling yes. on for the children. For the children. <laughs> <laughs> You've watched One Division as well, then? Uh, twice, actually, which is a very rare thing for me. Nice. Uh, we sat down and watched it a second time. Uh, myself and Eve. So, we saw it on Friday night, and then we sat yeah. down with Anita and Shona and watched it last night. For the as well. children. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not creepy in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. But uh, yeah, I'm going to assume if you watched it twice, then you enjoyed it. Yes. It, in the set, like, and this is no spoiler stuff, but it's weird because I'm not watching it for, like, it's presenting this kind of, you know, 50s style sitcom. Mm -hmm. But I'm not watching it for that at all. Like, I'm yeah. totally watching everything for between the lines so even though there's all the canned laughter i'm completely straight faced because i'm watching for the stuff that comes out and watching it the second time like you pick up on stuff that you missed mm -hmm. the first time around yeah i mean i, I loved how and, and this isn't going to be spoilery at all really but I, lo I loved how the first one was very definitely that 1950s dick van dyke vibe dick van dyke show yeah and then the 60s sort of like come in with like the the change of the hair and the fashions and then it was this bewitched and then mm -hmm. they had like a bewitched start sequence mm -hmm. and i was like this is delightful have you got hunting for any easter eggs oh yeah i i kind of watched a bit of a video and then went well yeah. actually i'll just like some of the stuff i picked up on um there's one bit where i was so proud of myself because i made the connection <laughs> i haven't to read anything else um <laughs> And I was, you know, and it's something where I get to be like an expert with my daughter, which is a very rare thing where she'll actually listen to <laughs> the stuff I say. <laughs> but I'm like, hmm, so this bit, this ties into the Marvel comics where such and such. And she's like, oh. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, and, you know, I, I get the feeling next week's going to be sort of like a very sort of Brady Bunch kind of vibe. Well, maybe, a, maybe a, like a, maybe that might be a week or later down the line, actually. I'm really curious, and this would be amazing if they did it, if they changed the length of the episodes. 
Oh, make him like ever so slightly. I mean, because episode one, it was shorter than episode two. That's for sure. It was like 22 minutes long. And episode two was like 30 something. No, no, they're all under half an hour. Are they? Yeah. And they've like seven minutes of titles. So <laughs> actually, yeah, the, title, the ending sequence is just like, you know, it's basically a Marvel movies ending sequence, but for a TV show that lasts like yeah. less than half an hour, then that's wild. Uh, so yeah, that's, but yeah, it's, it's a long time. Neve made the connection with life on Mars, which I think is actually the closest analogy to the show. Mm -hmm. I'm um, down with that. Uh, did you, again, not spoilery stuff. Uh, did you uh, appreciate the adverts? Oh, totally. I mean, that's, I was immediately watching them for clues. <laughs> Just that that little pop of red in the first one is just sort of like, mm. oh no, oh this is bad. Mm. <laughs> but that's uh, cool. But I, so I, having read up about it a bit more, I know that they're you know they're, they're traveling through sitcom time, mm -hmm. and eventually they are you know one of the episodes is basically a Malcolm in the Middle episode. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be cool seeing how they they move through these different classic sitcoms. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it, mm -hmm. and it's nice having some new Marvel stuff for the first time in like what 18 months, something like that. Yeah, because that's where um, they held back Black Widow. So yeah, because we were meant to have that like last September, and, October, or whatever. And the Eternals, I think, was meant to come out in October. Was it? And it got pushed back. Oh, there you go. Big. Remember, I could be wrong with that. Um, I <laughs> no, it's just something that you know that we because I'm moving the conversation along. Um, we played Times Up for the first time. Oh, uh, on yesterday with um, myself and Neela, Shona, and Keelan. Cool. And and how did it go down? It went down really well. I think it was a challenge with some of the names. Uh mm huh. -hmm that the others just really didn't get at all and were like, uh -oh. we can't even begin to say it. Uh, but like Colonel Sanders was one. <laughs> and uh, I think it needed, uh, we could see the girls struggling because it kept coming up for them. And they were like, it's a thing in the army. Uh, it's a title. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we just went, you know, Southern Fried Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like it got it just like that um but it was it was good fun just uh -huh. you know that idea of playing together and just going through it and and we went we only did the first and second round we didn't get into uh -huh. the third one we did the third one kind of just for laughs with each other and it was just really funny seeing everyone because the, the third round is where you're not allowed to do any words yeah it's like mm -hmm. first round you can say what you like yeah Second round, it's oh, what is it? Second round, it's just like you say word. a single word. Yeah, but you can pass. On you it. can pass, and then third round is no words whatsoever, just yeah. actions. Yeah, because I mean, but, I, I, have you played Monikers, which is basically times up but with descriptions? No. Okay, so it it really helps those moments where you get stuck on a person or a thing that you just don't know anything about because it has a little sort of like couple of sentences that explain who the person is and what they've done and why they're famous that kind of thing um it, it it really sort of like it helps the game move on it's exactly the same game except that it's got like more descriptive cards yeah so i think times up has that in a glossary in the back which is kind of a bit you know it's helpful afterwards but not in the middle yeah. of the game um, yeah. but also we're playing with the famous people one so I don't know if it's, is it all that or is it just different categories? Um, normally Time's Up is a mix of things. Like standard okay. Time's Up is just a mix of things. I mean, if you've got the famous people one, it's just going to be famous people. So Yeah. Um, okay. And of course, it's a very US-centric publisher. Yeah. Uh, well, it's published by R&R, &R, isn't it? So mm -hmm. yes, very... Warehouse our products, so I'll not say a bad yeah. thing about them. <laughs> <laughs> In case they said it all alight. Oops, Rory. Sorry. Oh, sorry, everything's on fire. Yeah. By the way, we did see your live stream. 
<laughs> it's a nice live stream. It would be a shame if uh, something would have yeah. happened to it and it sort of like pushes 70,000 pounds worth of product off of a mm -hmm. wall. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, so what else have you been up to, aside from watching One Division and playing playing Time's Up? Um, I will share screen this as in I'll share screen with you because I have, you know, been nerding out again, of course. Uh, Let me get test of honor. Yeah. No, that's cool. I'm, I'm excited to see it. So uh, I've been uh, playing this and again, just kind of experimenting with the solo rules. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. There. there. Yep. Oh, let's see if I can land this thing. <laughs> This is like the drone flying oh, over the top of them. Oh man, yeah. Um, yeah, playing this and played. I'm kind of going through a list of games at the moment, so I'm just going to move this. Mm -hmm. um, played Street Masters for the third time, and I think I decided it's going to go into the studio. Um, okay. I think. And I can't, it's, so it's all set up with, I was listening to a, pod, a program on Radio 4, oh no, Six Music yesterday, about music. Actually, I'll have to send you the link. It's really, uh, really interesting series, The Psychologist, talking about kind of music. Um, and essentially talking about people getting kind of, as they get older, um, they become less willing to try new things. Oh. Just it's how our brains kind of work. And you have to work at actively doing something new to keep that open reduce the chance of Alzheimer's. Um, and it's why people tend to kind of stick with their music from their teens. Uh -huh. um, and that's something I've always kind of tried to fight against, like listening to new oh. stuff. But a couple of games I've been playing recently where I'm kind of like, this is just, I think I talked about it on the last stream, like with Street Masters, there's a lot of interactions and a lot of things you're checking and there's a radar on the cards. And I kind of feel like it's just so easy to get stuff wrong. Uh -huh. when you're playing the game, uh, which is hard in solo. It's like that mental, um, the mental load you're having to carry when you're playing the game uh -huh. is quite high. And I was just like, I don't need that in, in games at the moment because um, there's so many things you can do with the cards in your hand, the cards that are out, uh -huh. how you're comboing things together. Um, and it's great that it gives you a lot of choice but I kind of was like, I'm not sure I necessarily want that in my oh. games at the moment. You know, and I have to caveat it with at the moment. I think I yeah. need a bit more structure. Yeah, I'm down. I, I understand. There's the because you know we know that eventually we're going to be able to play games with each other again, mm -hmm. and we're going to play all the games with our friends, everything like that. The problem is we don't know when, mm -hmm. and that. That sort of lack of knowledge, it's making me reconsider an awful lot of the games in my collection as well. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just sort of like, I, I went through a whole bunch of them yesterday and I'm, I'm doing, you know, another purge of probably getting rid of like mm -hmm. another 10, 15 games because it's just never going to happen again. Yeah. You know, I was actually, there was someone selling off Gaslands, which is meant to be a really good game and looks like it uh -huh. plays really well. And I actually stopped myself from like buying their stuff. I was just kind of going, well, I could make some of the stuff myself and I'm not going to really get to play with anyone for quite a while. Yeah. On it. So, yeah, I mean, you could, you could learn it yourself, you know, you could mm. get the, get the rules and everything and make sure you, you understood it, but yeah, you're not going to get the same experience of playing against somebody, somebody else. No. Which is and <laughs> I, I wanted to kind of redo that um, car combat type of game anyway uh -huh. almost like i want to do the prisma arena equivalent <clears throat> for car combat it's probably the best way of putting it <laughs> um, i think that would be pretty cool because i mean you and i we we have our our, our love of dark future from like mm -hmm. back in the day but yeah that's not exactly accessible nope um and i did read so the reason why i kind of went okay i'm gonna put um, Street Masters on the shelf is I was reading a post about Shadowrun where someone came up with a really interesting sy system. So Shadowrun Crossfire, one of the best solo games, I think, out there, oh. but like tough, so, so tough. Oh. Um, and what he has 
done is you basically start with essentially tokens that you can spend to help you. And if you spend a number of tokens uh, and you lose, you can't beat the game with fewer tokens. So essentially you're getting yourself like aids to help you get through the game. Mm -hmm. But that becomes like your limit for the points you score for that game. Mm -hmm. um, so what it's doing is allowing you to replay making things a little bit easier. Um, but you can't like play the second time and get a better score than the first time and claim that one. <clears throat> you have to kind of claim the lowest score. Okay. Um, I need to kind of go back and look at it, but I thought, yeah, because that's one of the tough things is when you have to keep playing it the same way, mm. you, just, you just keep getting hammered <laughs> in, in the game. Um, so I think doing the combining that aspect is a really nice way of making a game more accessible mm. kind of like what i guess what we're doing a little bit with you know adventure martin holding on yeah it's just making it more interesting to replay the game rather than telling you you have to do it the exact same way again mm. no that's that's cool that's cool i like mm. it that's right yeah I, I, like i said i was just going through things and going all right yeah this is probably not going to get played this is definitely and never going to be played again in my life and it's sort of like, okay, like I could sell these, I could buy another game, which will probably be put me in the same situation. Or, mm -hmm. you know, Steph has been making making eyes at resin 3D printers. And it's just sort of like, oh, okay, let's see how well, it goes. I'm uh, probably going to buy one for the studio, not a resin. Oh. I'll buy it. I'm going to buy I'll buy a 3D printer resin. Mm -hmm. just a bit too stinky. <laughs> The one those stinky printers. Um, yeah, I, th I think we, I think we, we need to go for a three D printer, um, like a resin one, okay. simply because of the, um, the you don't get the levels, like yeah, the, you, you don't get the heads. ridges. Yeah, these are going to be for you know for doll elements and things. So yeah. you won't be able It'll to. Be okay. Your, you won't. No, you won't be able to in your house, Michael. Seriously, <laughs> it, everyone I know who has a resin printer, it's like toxic. So you'll have to either stick it in your shed. <laughs> Just leave it out there. Yeah. Go, right, stay. Yeah, store it in a garage or basement with ventilation. Yeah, see, All we right. don't have basements, Can that's, that's an American invention. Yeah, I, I lived in exactly one house that had a basement, um, and it was an awesome basement because we turned it into a party basement. Um, nice. But it was like the kind of place that you would probably yeah. find bodies in in the 1850s. <sighs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like um, little, you know, the little kind of plastic balls in the basement where you could just like dive into them. Party basement! <laughs> yeah! no, that would have been amazing. No, we had uh, we had like a full on um, DJ setup, amps, decks, lights, the whole nine yards, and there was probably room for about comfortably. 10 people down there wow. and then there was often 30 to 40 plus people down there okay. <laughs> uncomfortably and it was a delight <laughs> it was always good times it was good times for me because i was always behind the deck so i had space so mm. that was fine it's all good all right less of that nonsense let's make this thing happen shall mm. we yeah all right. Uh, do you want to give us uh, give us an explain about what we're going to do then? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just going to bring my uh, screen up here. So we're basically going to continue on from the game on Friday, like resetting, uh -huh. but we intentionally didn't play with um, the thieves. Um, so we're going to put them in, and when we look at the the thief cards, there is one unique thief card which has gone into the kind of unique deck, uh -huh. Flynn, and then there is all of the th kind of common thief cards that's going into the common deck. Now, I would kind of caveat there might be a case for, and we do have it in the rules, I think, for like deciding how many go in, uh -huh. you know, how much risk you want to have. Um, Because I, I was thinking the way we're stacking the common, you know, card, we're going to get like three, four, five, six, seven, eight common cards. Uh -huh. If four of them were like thieves, that's pretty tough. Uh, but that's kind of the risk. 
of the game, they're still offering you the same, in many cases, the same money that you would get from the other adventures, a little bit less. Um, so it'll give a kind of different play experience. So I think, are we going to try it where, yeah, we're just going to random for now. But I know, like, sometimes we might, we might want to try it where we actually stack the deck so that mm -hmm. we're getting it the worst case scenario as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we everything is sorted out. Um, I, yeah, I just think for this one, we just see how it goes, and mm. we'll, 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 we'll give it a shot. Yeah. And everything will be cool. Uh, all right, so for the, uh, what we decided was round one or day one, it would just be three commons, and then it would be uh, two commons and a unique. Mm -hmm one common and two uniques no we changed that up didn't we because it was it was only yeah. the last day where it was three uniques um it, it was actually three two commons sorry one common two uniques all the way to the end yeah and then on the last one we mm. had I'm on the last one we had two uniques at least yeah we had two uniques on the front on the day five yeah i need to change how i wrote it up afterwards <laughs> so i think because i so yeah, nothing nothing uh, sorry nothing one 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 and two that was our web i think no it was nothing one two 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 or three at the end um because i think we said at the end you still want that chance to get the fighter yeah you don't know yeah you, 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 you or still like want the guild members the unnecessary you, you, you still want the knowledge of not knowing exactly what's going to come out that's what yeah. we were talking about so yeah. with that then it couldn't have been one it was two, zero two. one two, two, zero two. one two 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 yeah okay cool all right, so we'll stick with that. Um, now, I think that would have to be modified for the three and four player game, but in mm -hmm. the in the Google Doc, which I can share with people if they want to be able to see it, um, I've left it as essentially one, what we've said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to go through those numbers again. Um, so I'm looking, so it, it's a holiday over in the States today. Um, we don't live in the States, so we have to work. This is so true. And we're not right. furloughed. I'm furloughed. Uh, but I'm yeah, but not today. today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So we got our five days. We're good mm -hmm. to go. Um, we should draw our stock into our hands. As per normal. Draw five. Mm -hmm. Well, then we'll sit in the corner and cry because our card's not very good. Uh, do you want to do the first read? Sure. Um, just check there. It's payday. What, what? The guilds have defeated a dungeon boss, so their members have more disposable income in their pockets. Remember to upsell your products. So each adventure has plus two gold to spend this day. Okay. Good, good stuff. Uh, right. Well. As you did the reading, Rory, please, please go first. Well, I lost last turn. I right, won, so you should go first this turn. Didn't want to be reminded about that anyway. Okay. Um, Sorry, no, actually. <laughs> so remember, uh, we introduced the new rule where uh, if you have a member of staff, rather than mm. using their ability, which is the stuff that's written on the white, uh, white sections of the cards, um, you can tap them instead or exhaust them or kneel them or whatever so i wrote actually i'm kind of curious so i wrote exhaust um, okay you can exhaust them to basically uh go outside and spot a customer yeah i'm kind of curious actually for, again from the chat is another term like I'm not going to use tap exhaust kind of um works you could say a sign but um it's the idea that they do get um rotated 90 degrees to indicate that mm -hmm. they have been used in some way Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I think I'm going to hire somebody. <laughs> uh, allocate, says Ken. My 
and now it will hang over you like a sword of Damocles for the rest of the game. Yeah, well, you do know I like that one as well. So Yes. And you constantly screw me over by... <laughs> using using it. it. By playing the game by its actual rules. How rude. So I will spend three. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've, my thing is a bit laggy here. And I will take the sword. Which is always good because it gives you that extra little bit of money. Yeah. So I'm uh, so we're actually reversing roles, Michael, because I know you always go for this card. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like it. I, I, it's it's one of the few cards I actually remember has a really useful effect mm -hmm. to, that I actually use regularly. Most of the time, I just sort of like forget about effects. And it's just like, whoopsie. Uh, okay, well, I haven't got a huge amount of money, um, but I do have enough of those noodles. So let's -a go. I like the term busy, actually. Digital dryad is saying, if you busy the staff, <laughs> <laughs> go on outside. Just the busy work. Make, yeah. it look like you're, make it look like you're a popular store. Busy yourself. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I've got the noodle. Does anyone want to go forward? Yeah. I can it. It's cool because it puts you down into the, you either can buy the enchantment table fixture or you have to start a sale. So. Yeah, um, I'll start a sale. I don't have staff, so don't get to look. Mm -hmm. And it's a young apprentice. Okay. With five so gold to spend. With seven gold to spend. Remember, seven they got that little bit of extra cash. Uh, the only thing is they only want blue items. Yeah. Uh, so I'll take that. And I will offer that. For a total of two stars. Two quality. Oh, two. Yeah. Well, actually, I'll set up camera so you can see stuff like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, then, with that in mind... I offer. If I offer three stars, uh, you can have it. <laughs> Not fair, I ain't got anything else. Um, cool, 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 cool. So that'll get me four cash. Four. And then that will also get me their card, which I'll just pop there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. All right, now do I spend this immediately? I think the answer to that's a big yes. Yeah, I'm just going to straight spend it and buy the uh, light cap tea. Exotic item. So I am kind of struggling because I could use my dagger of Mammon to get some money in, but also mm -hmm. I'm throwing away a three quality item. Oh, but uh, money could give you some more options, though. It could. Because you know, I, I I have to start a sale next time because I've got nothing. Yeah. You know what I. <laughs> Yeah. Right. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to do that to get three gold. I don't think you're going to regret it. Because you also know that the, the two adventurers here are just commons. So the yeah. very most that they can have is seven. Mm -hmm. I will tap and have a look at this one. And then I'll start a sale. Stealing this. Start a sale to this one. All right, so it's an adept uh, who will give you a mage guild token. Ah, I got rid of my <coughs> dagger. <laughs> uh, they got uh, nine coins and they're looking mm. for green and blue items. Okay, green and blue, green and blue, green and blue. 
Well, I'm going to play out that. So that'll give me five. I'll pass. Well, then I will do a bit of a upsell then. Uh, green and blue. So I'm at seven coins at the minute. Do that and that. That'll give me the full nine. Take all of those 11 and then send two of them back. So just I just want to log that with everybody. That was my first poor choice of the game, selling that dagger. Yeah, just the first one. Yeah, first of many to come. Such optimism, Rory. Well, it is, because I'm going to do this, and then you're going to mess with my plan. Okay. So you're done. I'm going to spend two, uh, three, actually. Yeah, I've uh -huh. totally miscalculated. Oh, shoot. To buy that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy the... Oh, wait, no, actually, I know what, because I wasn't buying that one. I was buying that one. Okay, don't forget to take your uh, other coin back. Uh, so I'm going to take the Magmite bu Bulwark. Bulwark. How does one pronounce that? Bulwark. Bulwark? Yeah. <laughs> Badoom cha. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Oops, sorry, I accidentally glimpsed your hand. Hang on. Let me... uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. You, you, you know what's in there. You've seen me pick them up. Yeah. Um, so you bought that. Mm -hmm. So I I reckon the card that's... Oh, you need to take that. So you... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, I reckon this is a mage because... You passed on selling it to the first time, and I reckon you'd used up your magic items. Mm -hmm. so first customer, though I could be completely wrong. Let so me. You're see. Sale? Uh, I think I have to. I don't have um, anything else really. Well, uh, actually, sorry, I am gonna buy the fixture. Because I need some kind of assist here. Okay. Uh, I got five coins left. I'm going to spend three and hire that worker of knights. <laughs> this game just so isn't going well for me. <laughs> Such a great start. Yeah, I mean, you've got some nice fixtures. It's still good. Yeah. My store looks pretty. No one's yeah. coming in. <laughs> okay. <The> prestige. <laughs> Five. Okay. All right. So this is a ranger uh, who's got seven cash, and they're only looking for green stuff. Okay. So I will take the token. And. I will throw that in. So that's three. Uh, yes, yeah, surprising nobody, this is all yours. Okay. Don't want to use your um, worker of the night. Worker of the night, Christ, no, not at this point. Okay. It's going to cost me three to rehire him, just to three. stop three. you from having a Seven, lovely time. Four, five. Okay, so I'll add that in. Uh, so it's going to let me one, five, uh -huh. and then I'm going to flip that to throw that in, making it green, just so I can get the full seven. Yeah. Nicely done. A nice suggestion from Ken about a new promo event, Pandemic. All stores shut down due to a lack of customers. Put the game away without damaging the components with your tears. I thought you had to keep paying the staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Rory, can we move your, your stuff like up a little oh, yeah. bit? So it's sort of, like online with where mine is. Sure. Uh, oh, hang on. My thing is locked. Blah. OK. Um. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
like city. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So will you try clicking on the uh, token, the uh, initiative token, because yeah, it wouldn't let me pick it up. Okay. I'll put it over here next to your money. There you go. There we go. Everybody can see. Delightful. Okay. okay. Uh, so that's the end of the first round. Well, we get another action, should we so desire. Um, I choose not to. Mm -hmm. uh, same for me. Okay. So you are behind. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get the help well, from. We draw cards. Oh, we do the cleanup first, don't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to discard both my cards. <clears throat> Uh, I need to get my hand. Draw four. Uh, I think I will get rid of that. that. Draw all of them, so I know that they're not too bad. Okay, I'll do this now. So we're gonna flip. And Shuffle all All right, so freebie stuff. You've got another ancient mystery box, should you want it. Uh, there's Pippin Boots, who mm. will boost the quality of items. Uh, and there's three money as well, which is also an option. <clears throat> Tough call. Because of the, the change in the rule, Pippin Boots becomes more attractive because I get to look at the cards uh -huh. but being able to do that thing of changing stock twice that's pretty nice and it's worth three at the end agreed hmm i think i'll do that uh -huh. so i'm actually going to try playing without to some extent without staff using that okay. trick okay so then we will put it I uh, get the feeling I'm going to have a few customers, so I'm just going to line them all up here. What do you know? Well, you know. All right. Okay, so we've got the Ether Flush Fountain, which is that nice initiative bonus. We've got the Bonsai of Knowledge. Mm -hmm. If you look at the top card of the three face down decks, the Prince of the Abyss lets you get rid of stuff from your hand, which is very, very nice. Uh, Hilaria, the overqualified, which is like your ancient mystery mm. box, but hardcore. Then we have lovely various items up here for sale. It's all sacrifice ones there as well, okay. Well done, Google, on notifying me that I have today's Let's Play stream um, 51 minutes ago. <laughs> Super useful. Cool. Okay. Uh, so I have a token. I will get to go first. Um. Oh, that's new. Sorry, StreamYard has done a little bit of upgrading. If you hover over the the eye in the top left corner, it tells you where your live viewers are. It also tells you who've liked the, the thing. Where is that? On the screen, next mm -hmm. to the live counter. Oh, yeah. Hover okay. over the eye and it tells you. Mm. Yeah, they're messing around with things. Hello, Facebook friends. <laughs> Hello, uh, nobody on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I will kind of tempted to go for the Princess of the Abyss, but it's kind of expensive. Uh -huh. But it would definitely, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, I would have my eye on that as well. Just because it's so good for getting rid of the, the, the basic stock. If the problem is I don't have other good stock <laughs> in my hand. Um, and I don't have anything in my discard, so I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to use it. Um, so I will get rid of that. 
And that. Mm, so okay. get, uh, banished. Sorry, yeah. that's just off my screen. Sorry. That's all right. I'll, I'll handle it. I'll, I'll get it. There you go. Uh, and then Banish I get the top card. Isn't it? Um, sorry, it's again. Uh, and I'm the top sure. card of the stock deck to your hand. Yeah. So actually combos really nicely with the bonsai as well. Because you can see if it's just, uh, truly worth yeah. it. That would help. My hand. Oh look, we've got a YouTube viewer now. Oh look, it's Ken, <laughs> just harassing us in a different way. Okay. Um, oh, hang on, I know what's wrong. Sorry, hmm? it wasn't going into my hand because I had the bottom of the screen off camera. Okay. All right. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to tap. Oh, we did do the uh, Daily Bullet, didn't we? Oh, yeah. I'll do it right now. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> for each manager, reveal one card from the stock deck. From poorest to richest, each manager adds a revealed card to their hand. Okay, well, I was poorest, so I'll get first pick out of these two. Cursed Popuri versus Maga Noodle. So I will take the Cursed Popuri. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I've already got a Noodles, so. No, but the fact that it allows you to make a purchase at the end. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, we didn't even do our <laughs> adventures, man. We're super good at this. All right, in my so effort to speed things up, we sped things up just by skipping. So we have one unique in this one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we shall shuffle. And I'm assuming um, Samuel Suits shouldn't need to be... Oh, no, no, no. Um, he's, he's, he's getting tapped for this turn, so I can... Oh, okay. sorry, he's getting, uh, he's getting busied for this turn, so I can uh, do a little bit of investigation. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I am going to do a sale. <sighs> Idiots. <laughs> Just jumping around from street to street. So who's um, Omer Groot? Is that? That's uh, X8. It's eight. Uh, I'm going to do a sale here to this fine boy. You know what else I didn't do? For my adept, I didn't take a magic token. Okay. We're super good at this game. It's Monday, and I'm on drugs. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Vanguard, uh, uh, who's basically like the adept. Um, mm -hmm. Get a Fighter's Guild token when you, uh, when you gain this character. Uh, they've got seven coins in their pocket. They're after reds and blues. Okay. Well, allow me to steal this from you. Let's see what we can offer this. Uh, my opening offer is a big four. Okay. Um, I will go in with five. Okay, they got seven coins, and I could really do with it. So let's go eight. Um, I will flip that to play that and make mine one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, hang on, you've got eight. Uh -huh. You'll need nine or higher. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be a nice one to add in. Um, I will. Do you want to get the Fighters Guild? Mm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I need nine. Uh huh. 
it's throwing a lot of money away. Uh, you can have it. So generous, so kind. Uh, so that easily gets me the seven coins. And one more. Gets me a Fighters Guild token. We are much beloved by the guilds over here. Yeah, I, I'm like the, <laughs> the startup company that just quite can't get off the ground. <laughs> um... All right, back over to you. Sorry, actually, so that should be face back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you didn't, you didn't use it, so you're good. I think and I'm going to spend three to buy the cauldron because I get the discount for magical items. Uh, of course, yeah, because yeah, you have the enchantment table. Um, I also am going to buy some stock. I'm going to get the ghoul juice, um, which will double the base quality of the stock you are selling. I do have to point out we have like a sideshow going on. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, puns ever. I'm used to this freaking every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. <laughs> Uh, okay, so no money. I gotta sell something. Uh, so did you you sold to the one that you looked at, or was it this one? I'll never tell. Would you like me to tell you? Just that bit of information. I don't need to know which one you looked at. Just yeah. So I I looked at this one. Okay. Uh, I sold to this one. Okay. So I'll sell to this one. The forest you know fang. Okay. So ten coins. Greens are double. They're also looking for red items, and they'll give bonuses at the end of the game. Okay. Um, I will flip this. Uh huh. Make that green. Cool. So that gets you eight. And that is nine. Once that is nine. Um, okay, so well, I'll do that then. That's 12. Uh, that'd be 13. 16. Um, table topi doesn't have a flip table option, does it? No. <laughs> Thirteen and six, nineteen. All yours, baby. Okay, uh, I'll take the ten. That's when you could have used Samuel. Hmm? You could have used oh, uh, oh my work at night. Yeah, but Rory, remember, I can use Samuel later. Oro might not necessarily stay in your house. That is true. Um, okay, so I got the 10 for that. And I get them. Uh, chat, I'd like to think that the puns that are going on are, you know, that they're, they're just evergreens. You know, they're always, always good. Uh, All right, so you're a rich boy now. Yeah, it's my turn. Oh, no. I no it's my turn. You still have to use that. So. Um, I'm going to buy everybody's favorite sugary extravaganza, the Ether Slush Fountain. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, why don't you let me pick these up? There you go. That's more like it. Hmm. I will. Okay, I think I will use this to banish my staff because I don't think I'm going to be paying four for them. Uh -huh. Back. Um, look at the top three cards. And then I get to pick one of them. That's interesting. Because mm -hmm. when, whenever whenever I do that, I always have to lay them out on the table. Um, well, no, because one of them says, look, you should look, yeah. Yeah, so one of them says reveal. Yeah. Uh, OK. Right, so I've always got his freebie. Uh, I'm quite surprised you've not bought the Dragonberry Blast, but I'm also quite thankful, so I'm going to buy that. Mm -hmm. Okay, over to you again. Um, I will pay the three for... friend here mm -hmm. I've got the most flexible stock ever <laughs> <laughs> just like is that a magic uh, is that a magic sandwich no Why? Mate, this is a martial sandwich what would you like it to be <laughs> it could be anything you want to be mm -hmm. start start about the prestige again I've got like rotating labels that I just like slap on to the item no, there's like three um, three shelves, one for the magic items, one for the uh, exotics, and one for the martial. But you've only got like one item. And it's just sort of like, mm -hmm. right, okay, I've got this one here. It's a, it's a magic item. Just like, uh, do you have any martial items? Just take the thing, put it on the <laughs> shelf. Uh, <laughs> yep, done. Oh, you you <laughs> Lovely. Uh, okay. Two whole coins left. Look at what we got. Uh, I'm going to do the sale. To the Squire. So they're only looking for red items. Mm -hmm. uh, I get a plus two because I've got the... Mm -hmm. And the Ether Slushy. You've got and the Ether Slushy, I've got a plus three. Boom. Yeah. Uh, well, let's throw that out. Uh, that's a big five. It, I don't think it's worth it. Um, it's not worth using <clears throat> Alaria to win it because it's going to end up costing me three to net two. To get five coins, yeah. But your magic box will flip for free. Yeah, but I don't have enough. So you're on, what did you say you're on? Five, so you need six total. Yeah. Um, Can't do it, unfortunately. No? Okay. And I shall take it. Uh, so I get two coins from the Dragonberry Blast, one coin from a beautiful mascot. I was going to call it Hubert. <laughs> it's Hank. Mm -hmm. And then that is spent up. Yeah, because you not know that this is the ancient mystery box. It's magic. It changes the things all around. Changes the types of the things. Uh, so last action. Uh -huh. uh, I'll spend one to buy the Blooded Wand. Okay. And I will choose to pass. 
All right, so let's clean up. I'm going to get rid of these three. Mm -hmm. And draw four into my hand. Okay. Uh, that's usually the Wednesday night conversation. Uh, all right, Rory, so you are, um, I have this in store, so you get the freebie. So we have the uh, Red Mountain Bard, which everybody loves. Adds a load of stars to your sale. Mm -hmm. Town Cartograph has come out, which would make exotic stock cheaper for you. You know what? I don't get rid of any. Well, no, I think I'll get rid of that fixture. And take the bard. Okay. I mean, it's worth two, but hey. I think the way things are going at the moment, I need, you need help. every help I can get to get customers into my store. Two, three. All right. So this one is, again, one unique and two commons. Uh, no, one. One common, two one unique. Common okay. Okay, there's the shuffle. And there's our daily bulletin for the day. Uh, whenever a manager starts a sale today, they also gain the coin. Ooh. So that's immediately. Uh, meanwhile, items wise, we've got the Dredgewater Mimic, uh, which is nice during sales. Uh, the import Nomicon, which gives you a boost uh, to any Tamlin goods that you've got. Another Bloodwood Wand, his favorite money producing dagger. I can't believe I got it. I got rid of, oh no, I got rid of the discount for magical items. <laughs> well, the import Nomicon there with I think this Tamlin items. I, uh, yeah, I think um, this game is just cursed for you, man. Yeah, but I don't oh, know. You, uh, you're going first. So. Yes. Oh. Well, I do like the Apprentice of the Abyss. So let's free up a little space for them, like so. And because uh, they've got the on call symbol, I can use them immediately. Banish two basic stock from your hand and or reorder pile at the top card of the stock deck to your hand. Flip this card. So they get flipped. Gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then what magic will I receive? Okay. Pretty good with that. Pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to go for the important Omicron. Just the one. Nope. Okay. Gonna tap that uh, 
suits boy. Oh, looks like I screwed that up. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. All right, so we're doing a sale to uh, Blue Jay and Grey Owl. They like red and green items. Hmm. How much gold have you got? One. How much have I got? Yeah, just literally just a single coin. Uh, my bid is three. You can have it. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's think. I can upsell. I mean, I, I'm not going to be able to bid on the next one regardless, so mm -hmm. I might as well try and make as much money out of them as possible. So at the minute I'm getting three. Can I get another four out of them? I get another three out of them. Okay, so that gives me six coins. Oh, and as I started the sale, I get an extra coin as well. So that one doesn't come. Like, I, I don't see that uh, that one very often. Yeah. Daily um, I mean, what's interesting as well, because we know in the two-player game, mm -hmm. that's one of the uniques, and there's one other unique. It makes it kind of worth your while to not bid on you know to let the person who draws uh blue jay to to take it mm -hmm. i am definitely though going to exhaust this guy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to look at this one okay and i will begin the sale okay Here's a free to, coin for you. To this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Each manager draws two stock, and at the end, each manager discards two stock. Okay. Uh, so, there. draw. Two. All right, so Luna really likes blue items, really likes magic, and has also got a portion for, for exotics. So blues are doubled. So, on, uh, right, so you can't use any of your abilities. Yeah, I cannot sell here at all. Mm -hmm. So uh, I am just gonna <clears throat> speed through and yeah. just get rid of those two because this is literally all I can do. So you, really, this turn is about maximizing that, maximizing those eight coins out of Luna as much as possible. Mm. Uh, one. Interesting, we haven't hit a thief yet. No. Um, so I think the cheapest way for me to do it is... Let me see what would be the cheapest way. So we want to. Four. I've got the one. Five. Six. E okay. Uh, I'll have to do it this way, I think. I was trying to hold on to that so that I could kind of repurpose it. Um, that is. Nine in total. Mm -hmm. So I'll clean her for that. Uh, and I'll get the eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Over to you, Michaels. Okay. That's true, Ken. I mean, that that'd actually be really funny. 
if <laughs> I was think, getting nicked. Oh, do you know it'd be a really actually hmm Go really on. interesting variant would be at the end of the game you reveal cards from a deck and if there's any thieves in it at that point <laughs> Uh, they steal stuff from you, and that's when like the sky sent the sentinel would be really important. It's like at the very end of the day, and they're just sort of like running out. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spend the three coins on uh, surprise the dagger because that'll pay for itself in no time. Um... Okay. Uh, I'll start a sale. Just get this over with. Okay. So it's a uh, They Surprisingly enough, but like magic items. Uh, so I'm going to go with two. Uh, might as well go with three. Uh, I'll shut that. Four. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be fighting over <clears throat> over over pennies. <laughs> so that's actually proven quite useful. Those fixtures because it's allowing me to keep my higher value cards, especially in the face of your uh, ghoul. Uh huh. But it also means I get to carry them through to the next round. Cool, cool, okay. cool. All right, so. Uh, final action for me is I'm going to use my dagger, so that will literally pay for itself. I get the I get three coins back. Mm -hmm. So one, two, and three, and then you get a final action as well. Um, I think I will spend the three. Hang on, let me uh, one, two. just to kind of buff up my. Tamlin stock. Uh -huh. All right. So, end of the round. I have discarded down to one. Uh, there is exactly one card there. So, let's grab that into my hand. Shuffle and pull some more back. And draw three. All right. Uh, let's see what we're looking at totals wise. I've got five, seven, and seven is 19, plus another seven is 26. 31 is my total. In cash? Oh, no. Oh, no, sorry. no, no. In, in customers. Five. 15, 23, 28. Pretty close. All right. So you still get the freebie. Mm. And there is a lot to choose from there. Ooh. They are. So we, you have to do this bit first, Michael. Just. Uh, of the uh, stuff. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them back. I'll pay for it. Like so. Hmm. I always like the shrine of the kaiju. I don't want to lose any of those things, though. <laughs> so I'll take the money. Okay. All right. So again, it's and two, two unique and one common. Like a soul. 
Do you want me to grab them? Uh, no, I have them. I have them. Okay. Oh, I was um, telling uh, the family about uh, is it Macro Micro City of Crime City? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, Crime Crime City. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Do you have it? So I've put a request in to order from our friends at Fanboy3. Ah, nice. Is there any sign of Wasp yet, or is that? Um, so they were waiting for one other item to come in uh, ah. from uh, Shards of Infinity and Expansion. Oh, so cool. I think it's on the ship on Wednesday. Cool. Is it the Asmod Asmodee uh, Asmo Fair this week in the UK? Uh-huh. Uh, all right, so market day. I like this one. Gets rid of crap from your hand. Uh, each manager may banish a stock card from their hand instead of paying the buy cost of stock in the queue this day. So this generally leads to something of a rush. Okay. All right, and you get to go first, man. So I will finish my Dungeoneering Bento to buy this because it's also a Tamlin. Cool. But might need plus two at the end of the day. End of the day. All right. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my Wanderer's Cloak and take the other Tamlin item just so you don't get it. Mm -hmm. That's OK. Um, I'm also looking for Ivaldi. Why are you there? So, okay, thanks for that. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. So, uh, Roy, the important package is in Dublin. I noticed. It'll be I here soon. And I shall drop stuff around when it arrives. Okay. Uh, I got rid of my Dungeoneering Bento and picked up that other item, so it's back over to you again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll just jump straight in. Okay. All right. If you smell what the boulder is buying, uh, he's a fighter. Mm -hmm. Even if you lose, you get a little bit of something. Uh, reds are doubled, but he's also happy to get blues. Okay. Um. I would do this, but it would A, break the microphone, B, deafen Rory, C, probably get us some sort of copyright strike. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that, which is seven. Uh, yeah, going to give it all to you. Have 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 good times. Really? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy taking the two off of that. OK, well, then. Um... Which does he have? He has eight. So okay. I've got five in that at the moment. Um, so I will. Which one do I want to put in? I will flip that. Sorry. To put that in. That would give me the full eight. Okay, nicely done. If you want to, I will claim him. And did, yeah, you just had your bonuses, didn't you? The yeah, I just I, I just took the two. Okay. Two money. That was it. 
Over to you. All right, we're going to tap that Samuel suits again. Mm -hmm. You saving him up to the last round, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And look at what I got. Yeah, okay. Uh, I am going to start sale to Sarmath, the Prophet of Talox. Uh, seven coins, they're like green and blue items. Magic and exotic. Uh, they don't have any guild affiliation though, so I only get plus, <laughs> I only get plus two as a bonus. Ooh -hoo. Sad face for me. Um, okay, so I will go. Uh, five. Oh, sorry, six. Do a bond dose. Um, that's four, seven. Uh, nine. Uh, Ken says, I thought you had two bonus, four for the item, one for starting. So, yeah, one for the ether slash value, one for the token, and that makes, oh, that, yeah, that makes six. So, yeah, one night. Okay. Mm. How am I doing, Ken? Roughly? Very roughly. Yeah, you can have it. The generosity knows no bounds. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. How much did you end up giving them? Uh, 11. Ooh. 11 coins worth of, of goods. You better hope you get a good adventurer. Uh, we'll see. All right. So, yeah, I mean, seven coins ain't to be sniffed at, though. You know, mm -hmm. it's all good. Uh, okay. Now, the question is, do we pull them out of the unique or do we pull them out of the common? Yes. Um, I would say uh, well, if it's if it's after checkout reactions, uh -huh. then it's only the um, the unique because the commons don't have any after checkout reactions that I can remember. Um, the yeah, well, Ken says set up the next day and take it from there because uh, some of the commons do the uh, what you call it the draconic manager dude. Mm. He has he the does. get those the and some um, of the guild members. Yeah. yeah well, I think plus one so. I would say well. I would say you choose. Um. Well, then I'm going to take. I'm going to go a common, a common, and uh, but a bit of a yeah, common, common, and unique. So yeah, look at the top three cards of the adventure deck. You may add one to your ledger, but on the rest, okay. Well, I'm just going to look them up here. So uh, we've got Ooh. Mistress Jira, which is bonus points for every mage. Put on for you. Uh, bag, give me four. Uh, shoplifter. No, you can actually take that one because it's not an after checkout. On checkout. You're looking for an on checkout. Oh, effect. yeah, very specifically. It's very, yeah, yeah. Poor you. Nothing. So no, you may add one to your ledger and bottom the rest. You activate mm. any after checkout reactions on oh, okay. the Sorry. card. So yeah, that's that's mine, baby. And then these mm -hmm. two go at the bottom of the stack. 
Well, at least we know now the thief isn't coming out. <laughs> yeah, there's only another like six of them. Oh, that was a common one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I did all right then. That's like an extra four coins. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Maybe more. We'll see. Uh, so I started that sale. Rory, it's back to you. Yeah. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to use this to gain three gold. Two, three. Over to you. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna mirror what you did and <laughs> get three coins. Uh, so yeah, play out my dagger. That goes there. There's another five to me. Okay, back over to you. I can't remember if I've checked this one or not. Mm -hmm. I think I have. Okay, um, I'm gonna start selling. Uh huh. Before you get any more crazy bonuses. <laughs> did you get your two gold from Boulder? Uh, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone else isn't. Uh, yeah. This is the one you were looking for. Uh, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my four bonus points, man. Okay. Um, so I'll put that in. And I will flip that to make this red. Marshall. You don't uh, need to flip it. Hmm? You don't need to flip it. Uh, you don't need to make it red. He accepts anything, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's no point you doing that. Um, I have got exactly two items in my hand, and that's not going to happen. Uh, so that's all yours. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, so they're going to get. Oh, yeah. So. The reason why I wanted to put that second one in is, well, so let's you do get the, the extra purchase. Yeah, so I'm gonna get the seven first. Yep. And then I get the token. Uh, take him. Then I get uh, after I reveal the top card, start deck. You may buy it or banish it. Okay. And it is a dreadful oh, mimic. Tamlin. I think I will take that. <laughs> yeah, Ken says uh, I usually have to reread Draconic Executive because I see it as one of each type and not three max. Yeah, I I, I screwed that up a lot when we mm -hmm. first started playing it. But now, well, we also used to where you used to switch cards around. Yeah, you could flip the cards in and out rather than it's just like, here's three cards, that's what you're buying off me. Um, I will choose to pass. For your last action? Okay. Yeah. Um, what is worth more to me? I think. Hmm. So I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking in oh. my head. So I do have the Coven's Cauldron, which would allow me to banish the staff, get a card from the top of the deck, which you know is going to increase my value uh, because, say, the Mountain Bard isn't. Uh -huh. But you've been holding on to Samuel Suits I have. the whole time. And you could easily take, uh, say, some of my um, magical creatures. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't think you don't have much interest in my ranger, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> so the debate is, do I hold on to him to use him for the next round? Or 
Kill him now. <laughs> <laughs> Net the card. Um, the thing is, I'm not going to get it back into my hand, or it's unlikely. This is where I wish I was better at maths to figure out what the best option is. Um, oh, sorry, I was actually thinking, because I think I'm going to be still behind number-wise. Yeah, I'm a 43, so you are... Um, yeah. Okay, well then, I'm going to do it. that, because then I'll get the, blue, the Sentinel, which is uh -huh. probably better for me. Okay, so I'm going to banish him. Um, sorry, so as my effect, I'm going to play that card, which uh -huh. is Banish the staff, the top three cards. One, two, three. So I get to draw these into my hand. Ooh. 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 Um, tough call. Banishment, 10,000 years, not Okay, I'm gonna banish. Oh, hang on, actually, that's worth quite a lot. Sheesh, okay. Gonna banish that. Probably a bad call. And that. And keep the other card. And then we discard down. Uh huh. Oh, I've already discarded, so I've just got to draw. Hmm. And then uh, you will get the freebie. Oh, don't forget your, your oh, yeah. bones as well. Shuffle, shuffle, draw one. Okay, I am. Ooh, who have we got? Who's the so, latest edition? Uh, Winter was the latest edition there. Uh, each manager flips face down all stock they're currently selling. It basically refreshes the whole mm. extravaganza. But I know you have got the Sentinel. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Well, I think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Protect you against Samuel. Yeah, and the ghoul. All right, so with all that in mind, uh, we're going to be using three unique adventurers this time for the final day. And we know that of the four left, one of them is Robin Hart, the thief. <laughs> um, not necessarily. No, we're not. Of the four left, one oh, of them yeah. is Robin Hart. We don't know whether whether Robin Hart is going to come out. So I I think we still kept the two, Michael, because there was that uncertainty. No worries. Let me do a little bit of a shuffle then. Because I, I think um, as we're taking into account three and four player games, I think there should always kind of be that one, you know, one or two that are uh -huh. common. No, no, I get you, I get you. Okay, so these are our adventurers. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a quick look and see what stock-wise we've got. Uh, flip. Heatproof gauntlets. Devious carbuncle. Other dragon ready blast. More heatproof gauntlets. The transmutation, sorry, the enchantment table rather, and the divination station. Then, staff wise, we've got a worker of knights and Mishka, the store cleric. All right, and you will get to go first in this last round, and uh, each manager gets four money from the supply. Mm -hmm. Not a bad way to start the round. Three. I 
feel like I kind of need to like race in really quickly. Like push this to an end. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do what we did on um, Friday and throw 10 coins in. Okay. And take one of them as a. Oh, yeah. Take one of them as a tenner, basically. Actually, you know what? I'm going to spend three, I think, because they're going to be worth a lot more to me at the end and buy the gauntlets. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am going to play a Dragonberry Blast to take mm -hmm. two actions. Action one being spend five money and buy the Carbuncle. Action two being play a Dragonberry Blast, which gives me two actions. Mm -hmm. And of those two actions, the first one will be buy those heatproof gauntlets at a cost of three. So I get two change. And my second one stop you from getting it will be to buy the Dragonberry Blast. Now what I should have done was bought the Dragonberry Blast first mm -hmm. used it, and then chained it out again but I'm good. Yep. Okay back over to you. I will jump straight in. Make the sails go. All right, Titania, the forest princess, eight coins in a pocket. After checkout, each manager can flip face up one star full fixture card in their store. Uh, greens are doubled, reds are also appreciated. Mm hmm. Um. So I will go for six, five, five. That's exactly what I said. Uh, I'll go ten with the um. I will flip that over. Not that one, actually. <laughs> the other one, very important. That one. Okay, so this changes everything, I'm going to assume, to greens. Yeah. So that's... Um, so it doubles... It increases its value and then doubles, so it's now 4, 8, mm -hmm. and 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. I'm going to throw that out and that out. So that is 16. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, actually. Uh uh. 
I'm going to use my worker. Flip your, oh, sorry, discard rather, uh, your, whoop, discard your heap of corners, please. Uh, what do you want at the moment? 16. Uh. Do you use it now or do you yeah, use it no. later? <laughs> okay. Um. Does he get banished or does he get... Okay, well, then I'm using my Sentinel because if you win, you'll just flip him back up and use him again in another round. So I'll banish him to cancel that. Mm -hmm. So Ken is saying I'm 20. No, no, no. Ken's just taking the Mickey. <laughs> so if you cancel that, you're still higher. You're at 19. Yeah. Um, I will drop out. Bring those back into my hand. Three, six. And yeah, I'm way over. So, um, so I gain eight. Uh huh. Just my worker back. Two, six, seven, eight. I get to flip them back up. And I have the card in here that allows me to reveal the extra body. Yeah. Transmutation slime. Oh, I think I'll take that. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, that's you done. Mm-hmm. It's not a gelatinous cube. It's a dungeon room, but and uh, yeah, don't forget to take your forest princess as well. Yes. Uh, all right, I'm going to use my apprentice of the abyss. Banish two basic stock from hand or reorder pile. Add the top card of the stock deck to your hand. Flip this card. All right, so flip that. So he still gets flipped. Yeah, but at the end of the thing. Everybody gets because of Tanya. Oh, is it it's everyone? Not just the winner. Each manager may flip one back up. Ah, okay, I missed that. Nope. I have another purple in here. Evidently not. Well, we'll get rid of that one. Okay, so I'm going to banish those two. And this comes into my hand as a freebie. Okay, cool. Back over to you. Uh, I think I have to buy the ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> um, throw money away. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to stick him. Just nudging everyone over, make some room. Make room, people. Oh. Make room. Room, room. Um, I will. <laughs> you can nervous over there, Rory. Can't think why. Um I'm going to go straight star sale. I, I, I now want to add like a ninja like card or an assassin card that takes out one of your staff. <laughs> <laughs> just tie, ties them up with a prank call or something. Yeah. It's just like, is, is Mr. Butts there? See more butts. <laughs> <laughs> just shouts out and gets. Uh... <laughs> 
gets in a lot of trouble from the manager. All right, it's a scout. Mm -hmm. So we know that this is going to be our last unique. They like greens and only greens. Uh, so I kick off with two. Um, yeah, Amanda Hug and Kiss, another another beautiful one. Yeah. Uh, so I get one from my slash fountain. I get one from Hank. Uh, so let's do. Seven. Um. You guys, you got in your hand? Four. Uh, four more after those two. Um, okay. I am going to flip Hank and get you to get rid of the Naga noodles. Okay. Uh, so what are you on? Uh, I'm now on five. Okay, I'm gonna put that out. I'm gonna flip that to put that out. Two. I'm gonna let you have it. Okay. So again, five. Let me get discarded. Uh -huh. okay. All right, so it is your go. It comes back into my hand. I am going to use that to banish the staff. Look at the top three cards. I have a really good card, but I would not be able to use it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Michael's turn. I'm going to play my Dragonberry Blast. I'll do two actions. Mm hmm. Action one will be to use Samuel Suits, mm -hmm. uh, banish him, and your boy Oro is coming back for a second bite of the cherry, because mm -hmm. I can't let you have all those bonus points. So uh, I have a base of two. Plus uh, eight, sixteen, eighteen is the opening bid. Eighteen, holy cow! Yes, really? oh, greens are doubled. So five and three is eight plus one plus one is 
18. You got two cards left. Yes. Yeah. Can you do it? <laughs> nope. Oh, oh, uh, hang on. Oh, oh hang on. Um, oh, even with doubling out cat. No. I mean, I, I I don't feel so bad. I think I have enough bonuses from other things. Mm -hmm. At that yeah, point, I mean, it, it's... I mean, it would have net me, what, two, four, six extra points. Yeah, which is not to be said, yeah. that, it must be said. Um, so, or a well, and, and you don't, do you have any rangers? None, I don't think. You, you still have damn Samuel or the ghoul sitting around. I do. Uh, and then, Rory, for my second action. Yes. Are you going to be getting a sale, Michael? I think I'll begin a sale, Rory. Oh no, Robin Hart! When revealed, the richest manager nah, gives full the poorest manager. Your money, please. One, two, three, four. Doesn't mean much now. <laughs> it means points. Okay, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Uh, all right, so they're Thieves Guild, so they have no attributions or anything. So I get a kickoff boost of two. So that's worth plus one for every other stock that I'm selling. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, man, I can't even beat that. <laughs> You can have them. Yeah, it's six plus four. They have eight coins. I'll take the lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so actually, you're in a lot better position now. And I believe it ended the game. You get an action. Yeah, there's no point. I mean, I could buy like a fixture, but it's not really going to do me anything. Because even if I got an on call with a staff, I can't trigger it. Mm -hmm. spot from the... Yeah, you could potentially get something, like you could buy something for three and maybe it'd be worth four or five. Mm -hmm. Getting you one, but it's as equally likely that it's just going to be worth two or three. So Yeah. All right. So with that, then let's throw all this stuff over here. <laughs> Who did we have left from the uniques? Master Palmer and Zephyr the Abyss Walker. All right. So bonus wise, they give me no, bonuses. Bonus. Uh, customers are worth nothing to me now, apart from these ones. Like a soul. All right, workers, get out of here. I just got to work out the bonuses I get from my two books. Nice. All right. It's, I'm going to just zoom in on here and see how many I, we got. It's a 10. Mm -hmm. 
final score. Done. Man. Mine isn't. Hang on. Uh, so I get 14 and bonuses. Nice. So that's that was 32, 42. So that's 47 uh -huh. for the golds. 47, 50. Six, uh, three, Ninety-three. Nice. Wow. I thought I did well with seventy-eight. Very good. Very good. Uh, so ninety-three. Uh, if I took away the bonus of fourteen, mm -hmm. would be seventy-nine. Yeah. And then if you hadn't taken away my thing, that would have put me over hundred. Yep. You done good. Congratulations. So even though that like crappy start, it just kind of shows. Yeah, yeah. You can always come back. So we didn't have a lot of thieves come out, it must be said. No. Well, that lost me another four. So that was an eight point difference, I guess. Yeah. Ten gazillion points. Ten trillion points for the victor. Cool. Um, yeah, I still think it works. I, I still like the idea of, you know, sending someone out, having a quick check about what they what they're doing, what they got. Mm -hmm. And I did it. What did I do? I did it once during the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it a few times. I didn't rely on it, but I definitely did it more than you did. So no, I uh, see. It's funny because I relied on having the cards that would allow me to switch them. Mm -hmm. So. I was kind of working on the basis. It doesn't really matter what comes up. I will be able to adapt to what's yeah. coming. Yeah, and I was just trying to go for heavy starred items so I could just try and outbid you regardless. Yeah. So, yes, okay. so the only time I did it was after you um, got Blue Jay mm -hmm. um, and Silent Bob. Yeah, that Sorry, was. I was thinking, um because then I an could afford, yeah I could afford to use the card to look and make sure then because I'd no competition to get the highest mm -hmm. value card from it. Yeah, that was a mistake. If I because obviously I tapped my tapped my worker to look, you know, to, to sneak a peek mm -hmm. and hit F instead of dragging it into my hand. And if I had grabbed it into my hand, obviously I would not have started yes. to sell them because I, I think that was the turning point in the game. Um, so yeah, curse my butterfingers for uh, for effing it up. <laughs> Is that that's when I won that ranger bonus? Was it? Um, was no, it, I didn't. Was no, it, I, got I, think, the... I think it was Luna. You got after that one. Yeah, it was. Um, and I had a lot of stuff that Luna would have been very interested in. So. <laughs> just like, God freaking damn it. Um, oh, but she didn't grant a bonus. No, she didn't grant a bonus, but she would have got me more money mm. that I could yes. have pulled. And like, okay. you know, that's, that's less money in your part as well. So mm -hmm. um, but I'm I'm proud of that last couple of turns. I think that went really nicely. Like the Dragon Ray Blast, do the activate to bring mm -hmm. like Oro the Forest Fang back out and then do another sale and kill the game off. And it's 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 yeah, I lost, but I I like I still like the game when I when I feel like I've done something smart. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's the thing. Um, just going back to say the conversation about Street Fighters, mm. Street Masters, Street Masters. That Adventure Mark gives you to me enough of that thought. You know, oh, which card do I play and which card do I hold on to? It's not yeah. overwhelming in terms of the the amount of things that are interacting. Yeah, with each other, and I think that's such a crucial part of game design that 
you know, throwing more at people isn't necessarily better, or at least I'm not that kind of player. I don't, I don't want to be given so many options because I find it hard to parse them. Yeah, it, it's sometimes you will find that you are drowning in the options that are given to you, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's just nicer to have a more sort of like limited palette of things open to you, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, well, I'm, 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 I enjoyed that one. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, which reminds me, we actually played Cacao as well. Sorry, it was the other game we played on Sunday night. Oh, Chocolate Carcassonne, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'd say I prefer it. Yeah, of course you can. I, I actually think it's a better game as well. Like, mm -hmm. I, I do enjoy Carcassonne. I think it's a great game. Um, but I think if you just want something with a little bit more chunk on it, then, yeah, it's perfect. It's absolutely ideal. Well, I think I love the fact that your actions are interacting with the other players mm -hmm. more. It's not just to take that aspect. You're also giving stuff to other players, which I think yeah. is interesting. Um, and it's just faster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it's going to play out in the number of tiles that you have available to play. It's good. It's good stuff. All right. Let's wrap up there. I think that was a pretty successful test. I, I, I like mm -hmm. that new variant with the, the sending out. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with mm -hmm. that. Um, we, of course, are going to be back on Wednesday, uh, accompanied by the, the beautiful and bold Tim Fowers of Fowers Games. You mm -hmm. will know him from stuff like Paperback, Sabotage, Walkstar, Now Boarding. I'm trying mm -hmm. to list off as many things as I can get. Burgle Bros as well. Many, many things. Um, like, he's absolutely cracking. Lovely, lovely person. Um, I'm going to see if I can ask him about a certain project that he uh was involved in so yeah, we have a, we have a habit of meeting tim at the airport yeah we do don't we like we can bump into him in like dublin it's just like yeah, dude, what the he, hell are you doing here you're american going to essen he and essen i think he flies via dublin uh -huh. so we have a habit of bumping into him on the way over and back it's true is true um so yeah, we'll be back for that on Friday, uh, on a Wednesday rather. And then Friday, mm -hmm. we'll decide. We're going to do a little bit more tinkering with this, or do you want to do uh, do us something else? Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, we'll think about Adventure Mart. Um, there's some stuff I want to do with Untold, but I, I want to play it off camera first. Mm -hmm. I want to do that, integrating it with an existing RPG. Okay. I think that'd be fun for us to do on camera at some point mm -hmm. um but yeah i am um, we'll, we'll have, have a think, think and see. yeah because of course there is mystery project x yeah mystery project x rather i really want to play our revisions to blank but that's going to be a bit too impossible to play remotely hey we need to play birthday boy roberts yes Crazy version of blank, blank which i have played before and holy crap he's made it even worse like better worse by, or just worse worse <laughs> by putting it out by putting a shout out on facebook saying does anybody know any contract lawyers yes because i need to have an actual official contract written up for this game and it's like what the hell are you doing because mm -hmm. like the last time i played it with him it's got like monopoly cards in there it's got like actual Uno cards in there. It's got all manner like different point scoring systems. It's mm. brutal. It's like Calvin Ball, the card game, which is yeah. exactly what it needed to be. Yeah. We'll get him on somehow. We'll get to play with him. You should actually get him on with Henri. <laughs> no, Henri will just hang up immediately, just crying, crying in a corner, saying, What have you done with my beautiful child? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get out of here thank you very much for joining us everybody as always like i said we'll be back on wednesday um i'll be back tomorrow on my own channel at 11 30 in the morning as well uh but for mm -hmm. now have a lovely rest of your day and we'll catch up with you soon yeah everyone bye <laughs>